And this is literally a secret ingredient. That is crispy chicken. Cook, bitch. Oh. Mr. Egg White. If you're new to my channel, like this is the first video you've seen. <laughs> Holy shit. What's going on guys, Zach Pony here. And today's video is basically not the top four, but they're four of my most favorite cutting meals that are very high volume and low in calories. So these are by no means like your healthiest, um, best options for cutting, but a few people have been asking for kind of like these high volume meals that will keep you full. It doesn't really feel like you're dieting um, and aren't very calorie dense. So I thought these are the ones that I've used a lot in the past. Cause sometimes when you're just in that phase of dieting, you just need to kind of push through it. And these have been very helpful. So. First one we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a uh, egg white sandwich, basically, toasted sandwich. How bad, sounds so shitty, <laughs> an egg white sandwich. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, that's what you're thinking. Um, but it's actually, it's good, bear with me. So it's like a toasted sandwich with egg whites and cheese. It is good. Um, next one, we're doing chicken two ways. One is my famous Japanese inspired salad that we're doing soon. Um, and another one is a chicken with potatoes and it's just a, it's very filling. Like it's probably the most filling meal uh, we'll eat all day. And then the last one is a dessert, nice and sweet and it's super filling. And we're making zucchini ice cream. So you'll have to wait to the end of the video to see that. So <laughs> Joel gives me so much shit for the zucchini ice cream. <laughs> I can't wait to when we get to that bit. So first one, let's get started on the egg white omelet sandwich thing. We'll come up with a name later. So I have some diced up capsicum here. And we're gonna make basically an egg white omelet with onion capsicum. Um, we'll put the ham on later, but it's up to you. Any, any vegetables you want in this, you can just throw them in there. So whatever veg you're feeling, spinach or whatever, but to be honest, this is kind of just simple. So I'm just gonna go with that. And add more eggs for sure. I'm just doing this the leanest possible way because I can't be bothered. But obviously for, for health, the yolks are great. Don't leave them out just because I did. Um, because usually I'll probably put a couple yolks in, but I wanna see how low calorie we can get. So I butter up my pan like an absolute weirdo. How good is this? This is a Woolies, dice up onion because I don't want to cry. Not in front of you guys, at least. Literally all for convenience. When they dice shit up for me, I'm like way too overly happy. Now once that's cooked, add in your egg whites. Using about 300 mils or grams here, because that's 30 grams of protein. So 300, it's about 10% protein. It's a very decent guesstimation here, but uh, that's pretty much it. So if you want, like I said, crack a couple eggs on top. Whatever your calories allow you to do, do that. I'm just, like I said, this is the most basic. And then cook this until the bottom's cooked. And then we're just going to put it under the grill to finish the top. Almost forgot. Bit of salt. Yeah, go back a bit. Yeah, there you go. The hand's in focus now. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be able to hear too much because it's coming from my mic. Bit of salt, bit of salt, bit of pep squid. Right. <laughs> this pan is shit. shit. Fuck. Off the heat. Back on the heat! <laughs> I just blew the eardrums out with the mic. So one thing you do want to be careful with, you don't want to burn the bottom of this thing. So once it's pretty much getting cooked. Yeah, bitch. Cook, bitch. Mr. White. <laughs> Mr. Egg White, bitch. Uh, you're gonna chuck it under the grill. Joel, come here, check this. If you guys are making protein pancakes or omelets, easiest thing ever, full whack, slide it in. All right, you leave it there. Forget about it, just, le just leave it in there until it's cooked and that's the easiest thing ever because it cooks the top while the bottom's already cooked. You won't see me flipping any of that stuff ever. So we're using sandwich thins here for these. I think these are about 100 calories a pop. <laughs> Sounds funny. Um, <laughs> but you can use um, English muffins uh, anyway because they're about like a little bit more but at that point it doesn't really matter. Uh, this I just thought would be cute because the cheese like will fit perfect. So I'm gonna toast these. Oh. <laughs> oh. Not too close, too close, too close. So look at that. Fully cooked. Now the cheese. I'm using Kraft Singles here. Low fat Kraft Singles. It doesn't matter if you get a 25% low fat or like no fat, it really, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, there's like nothing in it. Um, like I said, this is, this is where it feels like this is not real food. But if you're on like no calories, this will be a lifesaver. I mean, it's not even healthy to eat super low calories anyway, so. Plop them on there. And then, full whack, straight back in here just to melt the cheese. So, that's done. We've got our little sandwich thins here. And I'm just gonna cut around this white. This is where it starts to look pretty messy, I'm not gonna lie. Full whack. 
plop him on. Now here, whatever sauces you want. I like a bit of tomato. But there's also this good barbecue, Callow Fit Smoky Barbecue. I just got online. Then hamstrings, a little bit. So I see people like tracking the calories and this stuff. If you guys have to track the calories on a slice of ham, figure out what else you're doing with your life. Cause like, <laughs> it's really, you can get carried away with this shit. That's why you won't see me tracking calories on a slice of this, a bit of that, a sauce here, because you literally go mental. You go completely insane. Um, so the good thing about this is, well, it's, the bad thing about this, I can probably count on my hand the amount of nutrients that are in this thing. Like it's literally, it's, it's very minimal. But uh, the good thing is it is so filling and you get a bit of variety because you just put whatever's left of the omelet on the plate and then you have two sandwiches and an egg white omelet. So actually pretty decent. And the macros are, I mean, they're very low calorie. The macros are great. Micros probably lacking, but that's a concern for another day. Meal one, done. <clears throat> okay, let's run. So, I'm doing chicken two ways now, so I'm just gonna cook it all up um, here together. Get your chicken to eat. First of all, make sure it's dead. The last thing you want is a zombie chicken running around with his fucking breast out like that. He, he's gotta make sure. It no heartbeat, he's dead, it's all good. It's all good, everyone. Chicken's dead. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to reality. So, <laughs> dicing up the chicken, and I go for a couple of different uh, seasonings on here. Because we're gonna air fry this today. If you don't have an air fryer, get one. Because they're just, they're so good. Um, but we're gonna use a couple of different things. First one, can you see that? Cannellini beans. No, I'm joking. It's actually red lentils. No, it's, this is um, pork rind, literally. I'll put it in the description. I found this when I was doing carnivore and it was just so good. It's literally just pork rind basically dried and it is so nice. It tastes like KFC chicken. So um, one is gonna be like that. If you wanna get fancy, dip the chicken in egg first and then this will stick a bit better and it'll make it a bit more of like a proper uh, batter, like a little coating, but that's pretty much it for that. Chuck it in. This will take about 13 minutes in the air fryer. So we'll get it ready. And for the next one, now we have chicken thighs here because we ran out of breast, so we're gonna have to use the chicken quads. Now, before I forget, there are two schools of thought when it comes to basically dieting and low calorie meals. One is if you're going with low fat, like the chicken, like the, the breakfast, it's gonna be a lot of food because there's more uh, volume, less calorie dense, but whether or not that's gonna keep you full or not is an entirely different story and it depends on the person. So if, for example, you have chicken breast and you're not very full and even though it was a, a lot of food but you're still not full because of the satiety cues, then maybe you'd be better off having chicken thighs, more fats in the meal. Fats are very good on the satiety, like the carnivore diet is really good for that. So it just kind of depends on the person. I would, I would usually advise try and go with the higher fat because you don't want to cut on low fat. If you're cutting on really low fat, it's not gonna be good for you. You're gonna be, your hormones will suffer, everything, you'll feel shit. Um, but these, it, the way it turns out to be is Low fat is an easy way. It's basically just a hack to make um, these kind of meals. So there is a trade off there. I'm not recommending just this, but these are like little things you can use. Uh, anyway, this is the panko on um, the thighs. Pretty simple. This is just for the salad. Um, and we will put a bit of uh, shell on, on both as well. The sheer amount of air fries we've got going on in here. So to go with our chicken, one of the chicken meals, we're gonna have vegetables and potatoes. So these spud light, or you can get charisma potatoes. I honestly still think America doesn't have low carb potatoes yet. Or UK. I think literally it's just an Australian thing. Fucking low carb spuds, mate. Um, but if you don't have these, pumpkin is just fine. It'll basically be the same. Um, and what you'll do is juggle them. Just do this. One, two, three. Holy shit, this is the best I've ever done in my whole life. Oh, oh my God. How good. <laughs> that was actually yeah. Pure luck. Yeah, it basically was, it's pure luck. Um, but these have uh, eight, they're 8% 8 carbs basically, so eight grams of carbs per 100 grams. Potatoes, I would never really recommend them in terms of like a health food. They're just literally, this is just to keep you full. It's pretty much, it's pretty much it, bit of carbs. Um, but when people air fry potatoes, they always um, just throw them straight in and then it leaves them all 
dry and it just goes gross. So the trick is you actually want to boil them a little bit, par boil them. So you just dice them up and then boil them for like five, 10 minutes, just, just so they're nearly cooked. And then you put them in the air fryer here. So otherwise they turn into wrinkly nut sacks. Yeah, wrinkly nut sacks. And they're just, they're just gross and burnt. It's disgusting. So let's pretend like these got diced up and then cooked and you'll be left with something like this. Remember those, um, that art attack show? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get the bed sheets and put them all in a circle. <laughs> yeah, and then after something. 10 hours, it looks something like this. And it's so impressive. But now we're dealing with potatoes, so it's a bit sad. Anyway, these are cooked. And all I do with these ones is get my second air fryer, full wax, pop them in. Bit of regular cell. Joel, what other one? Chicken cell. <laughs> my fucking chicken cell. Tastes so good. And then, on the head. Chicken salt in, on. Now you want to cover the potatoes in your extra virgin olive oil. We don't want any slutty olive oils around here. Bang, a little bit. And then that is gonna cook for basically the same time as the chicken. So about 13, 15 minutes. Now the next thing, easiest thing of all time, these, Woolies have these that you just microwave them straight in the bag. So you do have to stab it. Two minutes in the microwave, cooked. And then we're gonna stir fry this at the end. So while that's all cooking, we'll start on the salad. So one ingredient, you're gonna need a bit of lettuce. Probably didn't know that. Um, and this is literally the, about the size bowl that I use when I have salads, because I always have such enormous ones. When we were super lean, Joel, like at our leanest probably two months ago, this was our nightly dinner, wasn't it? Yeah. Every single night we had this, because it's, it's so filling. You sit in the couch, you're like, oh after all this salad. It actually does feel good. It does, but I'm gonna keep it at that. If you want more lettuce, go for it. Go, go, go. Go for it, go. Go, 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 go. Go for it. Next, right. Now I have a little bit of slaw mix here, basically just, I think, carrot and beetroot. Adds a little bit of crunch. Cucumber, peeled and sliced. In. Toy Toy is nice to stand near you when you're cooking. Yeah, Cause he drops food, always something. and I can eat it. Apple canja. Canja. People actually think we're full on mental. If you're new to my channel, like this is the first video you've seen. <laughs> Holy shit! I swear I'm not this weird. Well, I am, but you get used to it, and you guys will become this weird. Imagine like the first, seeing the first video. This is the first time. They're like, what the hell is wrong with these guys? Why don't they speak English? Abu Nazim. There's just like a million references sprinkled throughout this. I think that's, that's it for the salad. Because we are doing a Japanese inspired salad, best thing, these fried dried shallots. So good. Sprinkle them on. I used to put a little bit, but now I put shallot. I used to have a little, now I have shallot. I may be a chef, but I know where I come from. Oh, he looks it. <laughs> he looks oh, it. He, he really looks it. it. <laughs> Don't be fooled by shallots that I got. Two dressings that we are using here. Both by Kewpie. This is a Kewpie wasabi dressing. And is it wasabi? Yeah, wasabi dressing. I don't know where you guys can find this. I think we just picked this up at the Asian store because it is so good. But any, even the Kewpie sesame soy, amazing. You can get that at um, your local supermarket. Uh, and then obviously Kewpie mayo. A little bit. We'll dress it first. Or if you don't have any of these and you're thinking, what even is that? How do I find it? Google uh, Wafu dressing, W-A-F-U, F-U. It's, re it's really good. Another one that's super easy to make. It's like four ingredients. Drizzle this. So these green beans are cooked, but I do like to stir fry them just, for, just to get the flavor in there. So either butter or coconut oil, I think it tastes the best. Throw them in. And I would say with, when it comes to like green veggies and stuff like that, have as many as you want. Like if you're hungry, just add more. When, when I'm like really low, low calorie dieting, the green veggies is, is a lot. Like I used to have a pack of these and like the chicken and that was kind of like my meal. Be so, be so, be so good. So funny, the amount of people that have been saying that now, exactly like that, when yeah. they do it, yeah, yeah. Because it, it does get stuck in your head, it gets stuck in my head. And this is literally a secret ingredient because when I was in the States, at Whole Foods, they sell this thing called miso mayo. You had it, didn't you Joel? I cooked it for you. First day we went to America. 
It is so good, right? So if you're in America, go to Trader Joe's, get umami seasoning, put that on the chicken, and then you'll use miso mayo. But um, I couldn't find any. So I actually emailed uh, the miso mayo company last week and said, look, I'm, I'm sick of not having this. I'm willing to pay this exorbitant shipping to get it here. And they're like, I'm so sorry. It's probably not gonna last in the whatever. It'll take weeks. So I was like, damn it. And the lady, I think she's the owner, told me how to make it. Absolute jet. So I've gone ahead and made it. This stir fried in, on. I'm just gonna mix that up. It's so nice. But if you don't have that and you can't have access to it, um, Perinaise is always the go, Aussie. And the potatoes will add one thing to them. So pretty crispy. So, a <clears throat> little bit of low-fat cheese. Bullion. <laughs> Bullion. Bullion. And let's go. Don't do this in a swimming pool. Don't do this in a swimming pool. Why is this smoking like that? Okay. Don't smoke in a swimming pool. Okay, back in just a little bit. Oh, it's cooking the bottom. Ah. It cooked the bottom, that's why. Oh, what was hot. burning was, yeah, the, the clips on the bottom. I keep on burning. Chicken. Goes on. That is crispy chicken. Mmm. So much. Put in. It's actually a mound. So this is what we mean by high volume, lower calorie foods. Bang, right there. Full. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> I'm so full. <laughs> Chicken on. And to finish, one last little cheeky. And then. A little bit, a little bit of a sweet sauce. This is what I like to put on. So any, this is economy sauce. Fantastic for the economy. Last quarter was amazing in this one. Or you can get unagi sauce, which is also really, really good. Both just sweet. So use them sparingly. And you have to go in the opposite direction of the mayo. Otherwise, it doesn't count. It's half a cup. <laughs> yeah. Use it sparingly, half a cup. <laughs> Two meals done. So these are the main meals. Like if you're going to have a lunch or a dinner or something, they're going to keep you the fullest. Okay, now this is the final meal, dessert. This is what I used to have a lot of the time for dessert, still do. 200 grams of frozen berries, one scoop of oxy whey. Vanilla I think works the best. Banana was also really good, but I think it's discontinued. So vanilla is the go, amazing. Use Zac10 at ehplevels.com as well. Get a nice discount. Then uh, coconut water or almond milk or any of those kind of milks. So around 40 to 50 mil is what we're doing here because you want it to be very thick still. And one zucchini peeled, we'll get to this. But first, literally put it all into a food processor or futuristic blender like we have here. Now this dessert is so good by the way. We used to put uh, nuts bread with it. So we used to put just peanut butter, whatever you want in it. Um, and we ended up just shorthand calling it Nuts bread. So this was just, just this became Nuts bread. Um, and this was so good that Joel decided to get his only tattoo, his first and only tattoo. Nuts bread. To describe the dessert that we all love so much. <laughs> Always gotta scrape down the sides and then give it one more, one more go. <laughs> See that? It's basically like a sorbet, pretty much. This is where it gets a bit weird. That already is a fair bit, like that's a whole bowl. Fair bit of volume, but if you're really hungry and you wanna make it weird, this is when we add the zucchini. If it's peeled, I have no problems with it. I got no qualms with the peeled zucchini because you can't taste anything. It adds a little bit of like chewiness to it. I like it. So grate this. I don't know what possessed me to try this the first time. Now we put it back in and just put it on like a mix setting. So we're not gonna blend it, you just wanna mix it. If yours doesn't have it, just mix it with your hand. But we can put this on reverse. You can't taste the zucchini at all. It's like a grated apple. That's exactly what, you can tell someone's a grated apple. They go, oh, that's yeah. good. Cool. 
And so guys, that is it. I'm sorry we actually polished off the first one. It looks like it's just a mess now. So you have to just remember what that looked like. Or in fact, here's a nice B-roll overlay of what that first one looked like in case you forgot. But here we have these top four high volume cutting fat loss meals. So like I said, and I can't emphasize this enough, when you're dealing with these meals, they're not the, let's say like quote unquote healthiest, they're not the most nutrient dense meals because if they were, it'd have egg yolks in there, we would have more fats in the meals, less kind of like fake cheese and shit like that. But if these meals are gonna be what is gonna make you adherent to your plan and not throw yourself off and not eat shit and then you know fall off the wagon, then this is amazing, you know what I mean? So like, that's why it's a bit of a trade off. Sometimes if people, uh, if you give them something like this, I mean, well, there's not too many nutrients in here. But that said, if that's gonna keep you adhering to your diet, you're gonna get your results because there's not many calories in here. So that's why there is a trade off between like the nutrient density and the calories of the meal. Um, but that said, these have been kind of the go-to ones that I've used in the past when I'm really hungry and I just want to break the diet and eat something and then actually enjoy the food too because this all tastes amazing. So, but I can give you guys a whole bunch of more recipes and like talk about this shit for days because there's so many little factors. But I, I figured try these meals, let me know how you go and I really think you'll enjoy them. But anyway, that is it for me guys. I did hope you enjoyed this video um, and learned a few things. Let me know how these turn out and plus let me know how the zucchini and ice cream goes because if you're like me, I think it's great. Uh, and it is such a lifesaver if you're in like a prep or dieting or whatever. But like I said, I've got nothing left for you. And you definitely, definitely know what to do. Stay nice.